Hi friends, today we are going to learn about the section formula in coordinate geometry, right? And it's really important uh, formula in this chapter, right? So before proceeding, uh, l let me make a diagram over here. Suppose uh, this is my sugar can, okay? You might have eaten this. It's really nice, you know, it's so uh, sweet, you know, so tasty. You can say this is my sugar can, okay? Uh, it's not looking like that, but you just suppose it, right? And these are the nodes, okay? Nodes of the sugar can. Okay, and let's suppose these all nodes are equal to each other, right? Right? Uh, these are this is the sugar can okay now one of my friend came uh, suppose Michael came and he wants the two part of this uh, these are equal five parts right this one two three four and five see here are three equal parts right and he wants two parts from here so where should I cut that I should know right so I know I can simply cut this here and here right so simply I will cut from here I will give this two part to Michael and this three part will be uh, will left with me so three part here and two part I gave to Michael it means I cut this sugar can at this point and this point is at the three ratio two right or you can say simply this node divides this whole sugar can in three ratio two and I will be cutting at this point and giving to him right here is called section uh, I can say this this node is now secting this whole sugar can in the ratio of 3 is to 2 right like this we have to learn suppose uh, another example uh, just let me take a line this is a B right this is line a B and here is another point uh, it's called P right it's called P now this P point is dividing this in 3 ratio 4 right three parts are here and four equal parts are here so now this P point we can say uh, is dividing this or secting this internally in the ratio of three is to four so this is called internal section right internal section sometime what happen see this is a figure right this is a line this is A and this is B right uh, let me produce this B this, this is the final point of B right uh, let me produce this with another color, right? Suppose right, okay, red. Up to P, I'm producing this, right? So now I can say again, this P point is also dividing this AB, but not internally, externally. Suppose it is dividing now uh, with the eight ratio. This is eight part, and this is three part. Suppose this is only three part. So now this. P point is dividing this AB line in the ratio of 8 is to 3 but externally right but externally but now we are only dealing with this internal section and we'll be deriving a formula uh, in coordinate geometry in the way of graph right and uh, that that formula will be helping us a lot in the lots of problem okay so let me derive this uh, okay this is our figure right suppose here is a line okay let me just make a line over here here is a line suppose uh, okay fine uh, it's not the perfect exactly okay what I want suppose fine now this is a line right let me give this a this is x1 comma y1 right x1 comma y1 and this is another point B its coordinates are x2 comma y2 okay and in this figure let's suppose here is a point P whose coordinates are x y let's suppose right this P point is dividing this a B and uh, a B line in the ratio of m1 comma m2 right in the ratio of m1 comma m2 now we have to find out the coordinates of this x y the value the formula for this x y okay so uh, let me draw the perpendicular already here is a perpendicular here and again here and again here these are the three perpendiculars so that's how we can say these are parallel to each other also right uh, let me join this again this right since from this origin this is origin all right uh, from here to here this is x1 and from origin up to here this is x2 right up to here it is x2 
not not x2 it's only x right it is only x not x2 only x so this distance i can say simply x minus x1 right and again here up to here it is x1 and from here to here it is x2 so simply i can say this is x2 minus x again if you look this vertical line then uh, from to here to here this is y1 and from here to here this is y only right so this distance i can say uh, let me write with another color uh, black will be perfect here right so it this this distance will be how much yeah exactly y minus y1 again here this is y y distance from here to here this is y distance right from here to here it is y distance and up to here it is y2 this hole is y2 right it's y2 from here to here right up to here so this distance should be y2 minus y right now uh, what we're seeing here that in this triangle and this in this triangle this angle is equals to this angle right because uh, these are parallel to each other and again this is 90 degree and this is also 90 degree this line is also 90 degree it's so faint right let me do with black right see this is 90 degree this is 90 degree this angle is equals to this angle again this angle is equals to this angle so what we can say that this both triangle triangle AP uh, let me give this num the name T and this S okay so triangle APT and we can say triangle PBS both are similar right by angle 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 theorem three angles all th three angles are equal that's why by angle angle rule we can say triangle APT right APT is similar to triangle PBS right PBS so their sides must be proportional that is why AP upon PB right this AP upon PB must be proportional with AT right this is T AT upon PS AT upon PS right and again must be proportional to PT upon PS BS BS right PT upon this PT upon BS right let me put their value also or AP AP is equals to M1 and PB is equals to M2 again AT here AT is equals to X minus X1 upon PS PS is X2 minus X X2 minus X1 uh, this x1 right so here again pt this pt is y minus y1 and bs right this bs is again y2 minus y right now uh, let me do uh, let me solve this this two right so it will be m1 multiplying x2 minus x1 multiply m2 x minus x1 again m1 will uh, m1 x2 minus m1 x1 again m2 x x only and m2 x1 here i'm keeping uh, I, i'm taking this m1 this side right uh, x2 minus this is c m2 x only right i'm sorry m2 x only sorry right so I'm taking this m1 x this side right so m1 x2 and this m2 x is leaving here but m2 x1 is coming this side so it will be plus m2 x1 is equals to m2 x this is negative m1 x so here it will be positive right so m1 x now again m1 x2 plus m2 x1 is equals to now I'm taking x common so it will be m2 plus m1 right therefore I can easily write x is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 whole divided by m1 plus 
m2 this m1 plus m2 will divide this whole right so we got the value of x uh, now let's take m1 m2 and y this this part right and then solve what happens let's see right this is m1 upon m2 is equals to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y okay let me change the color this one and let's solve this now or m1 y2 minus y m2 y minus y1 right or m1 y2 minus m1 y equals to m2 times y minus m2 times y1 again what I'm doing I'm taking this this side and m2 y1 this side so it will be m m1 y2 plus m2 y is equals to m2 y this is negative so it will be here positive m1 y so again what we got we, we get the equal value uh, here m1 y2 plus m2 y1 it's now it's uh, actually this this is y1 so when it comes this side it is y1 right so y1 now here I can take this y y common so y will get common and m2 plus m1 again therefore we get the value of y equals to m1 y2 plus m2 y1 whole divided by m1 plus m2 so we got the value of this point right this intersecting point and this is let me write the intersecting point x y is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 all divided by m1 plus m2 right I just write it from here I just write it m1 x2 plus m2 x1 all divided by m1 m2 right and another one is again m1 y2 plus it is here m2 y1 all divided by m1 plus m2 right this is called the section formula right this is called the section formula right now a uh, friend uh, I will be doing lots of problem in uh, next videos and uh, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, learning a lot about this and another is coming uh, from after this I'm uh, making the video for the midpoint right so keep uh, watching on midpoint video right uh, we'll be meeting in next video okay bye bye